There's a lot of like sexual assaults and things like that happening uh, all the time. And uh, it's in the news and stuff, you know? And a lot of celebrities and famous comedians. And those guys are bad, bad news. May they rot in hell. But uh, I think maybe now, you know, kind of like looking back uh, with uh, in retrospect, uh, maybe it's time uh, we give Pee Wee Herman a break. <laughs> <laughs> of course the guy had to jack off in a movie theater. His whole house talks. <laughs> yeah. uh, my dad left when I was a kid. Um, it was awkward for me when my dad left because at the time I was in fourth grade and my dad was the assistant baseball coach for my fourth grade baseball team. <laughs> So it was awkward when my dad left, you know, because I get to baseball practice and all the other kids would be like, Hey, where's your dad? He's supposed to be third base coach. <laughs> and I'd have to be like, Oh yeah, he's also supposed to be my dad. <laughs> Where is that guy? <laughs> you know what, when I see him, I'll tell him about this whole third base coach thing. Because <laughs> God forbid you get to third base, and you don't know where to go. <laughs> you go home. If anything, my dad needs a third base coach. Yeah. Uh, a lot of dad hate out there, and I like that. I feel like you can tell a lot about a kid's childhood by what they call their grandparents, you know, like the names they call them. Like, uh, my childhood was kind of bleak, and I call my grandparents Grandmother and grandfather. <laughs> but my friend's childhood is really solid, and he calls his grandparents Gim Gam and Mitlop. <laughs> He's like, I like my Mitlop. She's making biscuits as we speak. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, man, because grandfather's gonna try to get me to join the Confederacy again. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. In Alabama, I don't know if I mentioned that, which maybe gives that a bit more context. Um, I was in an emo band when I, you know, because I was a sad boy or whatever. I was in an emo band back in high school in Alabama. Um, for those of y'all who don't know that genre of music, um, it's the one that goes like this. I'm not scared! <laughs> Anyway, so that's what I was doing all through my school. <laughs> my favorite part of the whole emo genre is, is typically after the second chorus, there will be a spoken word part. And that's always delivered in kind of like a classic Southern Californian mall goth voice, you know? Like a voice that goes, I hate my parents, their love is a scam. <laughs> and the chorus is always something very poignant and thought-provoking and poetic, you know, in emo songs. The chorus is always something like, And you could slit my throat, and I'd say thank you for touching me! <laughs> And then they get into that spoken words part, man, and I just loved it so much, you know? Because it'd be like, I'd say thank you for touching me! And that was the last winter I ever saw Amy. <laughs> she walked out of autumn, and autumn became my chest. <laughs> or something like that. But I'm from Alabama, you know, and my accent has faded quite a bit. But back when I was in high school in my emo band, it was well and alive and thriving. And I'd say it made my spoken word parts, well, hell, a bit more cinematic. Because <laughs> it'd be like, And you could slit my throat, and I'd say thank you for touching me! And that was the last time I ever saw him. <laughs> well, she's just up and left. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh. Alright. <laughs> Anytime you put them on the hecklers on the spot, they're all, you know, they all... Um, so yeah, I'm single nowadays. Uh, I was in a relationship for a bit. Didn't work out. Not sure why. Uh, her two favorite things to do are dance and cocaine. <laughs> and my two favorite things to do are feel left out and judge. <laughs> so we didn't work out. 
Anyway, uh, you can go ahead and start pulling <laughs> this bad boy down here. Uh, I'm, I, I'm dating now, and I'm always having to have a conversation um, with uh, the girl. Yeah, girl. <laughs> I'm straight as fuck. <laughs> I'm a straight as fuck white male. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys when this is uh, once this is down. I'm going moving back to Alabama. <laughs> anyway, I always have to have a specific conversation with every girl that I go on a date with, um, and I thought I would just write a song to kind of like let everybody know it ahead of time in case I end up dating anybody out there tonight. Um, <laughs> Wow, hello. Look at that. I can't drink with you tonight. I'm sorry. I understand if you'd like to leave. <laughs> I don't have a drinking problem to say You see, you see, you see I guess my problems begin with my mommy You see my mommy drank herself to death And I know she tried her very best Do I smoke weed? Oh boy, I wish I could But I can't, I can't, I can't You know I've tried a few times before But the high's no good to no more I'm supposed to be chilling But I'm just thinking about you guessed it, my mommy. You see, my mommy also had a drug problem that contributed to her alcoholism, which eventually led to her death. And I know she tried her very best, but now I can't party because my mommy party to death, to death. Everybody, sing it with me. That's right. the bridge <laughs> and I wonder don't we all every day everyone does I wonder wit that's me what would your mom me say I'll tell you what she'd say she'd say this fucking life it fucking sucks so have a fucking drink go out and fuck yes <laughs> So fucking alone, I have dreams every night, she's alive still. <laughs> now I can't party, cause my mom is party to death. I'm like, Mom, you're dead, why are you alive in my dreams? Just fucking die, leave me alone. Now I can't party, cause my mommy party to death, to death, to death, to death. Sing it with me. Now I can't party, <laughs> party to death. Makes me feel less alone, to death, to death. Let's try it. Mom's dead wit, just fucking like get a grip, she gone, bye bye. No! <laughs> what has your whole identity, your dead mother, what's the deal? <laughs> Go to fucking therapy! No, I can't! <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can pull that up. I'll stand here. Um, I know. Comedians, merch, it's like, ugh, lame, right? But, uh, anyway, uh... First thing. <laughs> Limited.